Hey, this is a video by Richmond. Today we are working on a early Volkswagen Beetle front end. This is the link pin style. Uh, let's see, this one right here looks to be early 60 vintage. Has a stabilizer on, on it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if this tool right here ball joint tie rod separator will work on this year Volkswagen. Now, it's got no cotter pins in it. This thing's been outside pretty rusted. Will this nut move? Yes. Well, put a pipe on it. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this nut all the way off. All right, we got the nut off. Now let's put this thing together here. All right, I think we'll lower it down to the lowest hole. Hey! It fits! Now this hex on the screw right here is uh, 24 millimeter. Normally I like to leave the nut on there when I'm shocking the piece, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Doesn't that always catch a vice surprise when it pops like that? Look at that. Still in one piece. Let's break it. Hmm. It does it does move the metal a little bit. If you were trying to salvage your tie rod, if you want to put it back on, I'd maybe want to put the nut back on. There you are, here's the nut. Oh, it didn't, uh, didn't bugger the threads. Can you see the metal right there where it kind of pushed on it? Yeah, I think I would use the nut on there if I was trying to put my tie rod back on. If it's junk, you don't care. Like this one right here is no good, so... Works pretty good. 
I give it uh, two thumbs up. So that's my little look at the Gear Wrench Universal Ball Joint Tie Rod Separator.